to my channel to Shars Clear Beauty. So today I will be showing you how I curl my hair and for starters I will be showing you what I use to prep my hair to curl it because obviously you're putting heat on your hair so you want to protect it and seal it from any heat that will damage your hair. So for starters I will talk about the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. So this one I really like. It's very affordable and as well it goes a long way because a little is all you need. And I also use the Redken Iron Shape 11. This one is a finishing thermal spray from Redken. This one you can find in some of your stores depending the beauty products that they do sell. So this one I like as well. It has a nice smell. Well, they both do. This one is more of a clean, fresh scent. And sometimes that's what I'm looking for, especially for heat protectants or just hair products because I like my hair to smell good. I can't stand my hair smelling like hot tools. It's just a turn off to me. So I will be showing you how I curl my hair and as well I will be showing you what curling iron I'm using. This one actually is the Exteva curling iron. You can actually get this one on Amazon. I will put the name down below. I like this one because it has five different adapters so you can use it as a wand, you can use it as a baby wand, you can also use it as a big curling iron, as a medium size, and a tiny one. I'll show you how everything looks towards the end as well, how the products actually help the hair and stay tuned and I'm going to curl my hair. Okay guys, so I'm going in with the Tresemme Heat Protectant, making sure that I cover all my hair with the product to protect it from any heat. Okay, as you see now I'm going in with the Redken spray as well. I like this one personally because it has a nice floral but fresh smell. I don't like the heat scent that it leaves on your hair. So I'm grasping it at the top just so I can have control of the hair when I curl it so I don't have all of the hair in my way so I can actually make this as smooth as possible for myself. It's completely optional to curl your hair upward. As you see, I'm going in, curling it upward and playing with the curl a little bit, seeing how it looks. I don't want the curl to be too bouncy. I like to keep my length, so as I go, you'll see me just playing with my hair, making sure that it doesn't look too spiral and round. Don't want myself looking like Annie. Okay, and as you see, it takes me some time to grasp the hair the way I like since my hair isn't as long as I usually have it. So I'm just in here, I'm going in. I'm touching the curls. I'm just making sure that it's falling the way I like it. Now I'm going in taking more strands of my hair so I can curl it. Once again, if you are a beginner, take your time, get to know your wand. If you have a wand, get to know your curling iron. Experiment, but don't go so fast, just so you, so you don't burn your hair or your fingers. And I am taking smaller strands just because my hair is thick and then the curling iron won't curl it the way I want. This curling iron actually, it is a Ateva curling iron. You can get it on Amazon and I will list it down below. I do personally like the hot tools as well. I had one lasting me many years. This one is nice because I do have adapters to go with it. So it's a five in one. So that's an advantage. Okay, 
As you see here, I'm taking a smaller string just because I want to give it a natural look. I don't like it to look so bouncy, so some strands will look smaller than others depending on the layer that I'm taking on my hair. Because my hair is still in the process of growing out from the layers in the back, so as you see, some layers will be shorter than others. And as you see here, this one was a long one, so I'm not curling it all the way at the top. I do it halfway so it doesn't lose its length, but it still gets the curl. And as you see here, I curl my hair all the time. If you're doing it for years, you're always going to miss little strands. So you're just going to go in and retouch and fix it. It happens to me all the time. It's normal. Obviously, you can't see what you're doing in the back. So don't freak out if you see that you missed a couple strands. It happens. And as you see here, I'm leaving the tips at the end just a little bit out so it looks more beachy and it looks more natural. Not all my curls are going to look the same and that's on purpose. I like them to fall differently just so it has that nice smooth look. This is a look you can do for Valentine's Day. I think it looks very romantic. And here I'm going to go in later on with the comb just to smooth it out a little bit just because the heat protectant just curled my hair a little. Obviously because I put too much product on the top, but that's okay. That's flexible. Better be safe than sorry. Going in with the curling iron, just smoothing out my hair and curling my hair the way I am in this section just because I can't really see in the back so it's a little difficult. So always try to have at least a mirror in front of you to help you. And taking smaller strands sometimes is easier. You don't have to curl your hair as long and as well you'll get a smoother look. It won't be so bold. It's unheard of. Whatever's deep in the soul. Whatever's deep in the soul. And if they get word of. Who knows how we'll be the two. Just checking my roots to make sure that it looks smooth due to some of the frizz. Now I'm going in just retouching the bang area since my bangs are growing out. They do have a way of just being stubborn so I have to go in and curl it a little bit more than usual just because it's not as long as I want them to be yet to so just push them back. So I'm actually just pushing them to the side and just retouching the roots, making sure that everything just falls nicely. Once again, this is a look that a beginner can do, a person who's been doing it for a long time. It doesn't matter the curling iron that you have, you can achieve this look with a high-end product or a drugstore product doesn't really matter as long as you do it the right way you're fine guys and just remember there's no perfect way to curl your hair it's pretty much a freedom look you actually can do it any way you want and there's no rules when it comes to curling your hair. It's not like when you straighten it, if, it does, if it's not straight, it doesn't look right. When you curl your hair, however you do it, it looks fine, it's beautiful. 
I naturally do have curly hair. I do have natural curly hair. I usually like to blow it out and then half of the week I will use the wand or I'll curl it like I'm doing now. Do different looks and styles and just makes it more easier for me. Especially since my hair isn't the length that I want it to be. I usually don't leave it curly. I don't like using too much product in my hair and to keep it the way I like when it's curly, it's too much product to use. So I prefer not to. But then I do take a break because you don't want to give your hair so much heat. Just putting my bangs on the left to the back making sure that it looks very nice and it gives you that glam look very natural and romantic like I said earlier just go retouching your curls making sure that you call all your little sections there, there are some blind sections that as you go you'll see that you missed them just go back in and retouch and I'm pretty much almost ready to go with this look. Just finishing up little sections, making sure that I didn't miss a spot. Look, checking the roots, making sure that they look smooth. As you see here, I missed a big piece and I had to go back in. As you see, I'm just touching checking that I didn't miss anything. The worst thing is your hair is curled and then you have a big strand of straight hair down the back. Okay guys, so I am almost done with the look. Not too shabby for a last minute look. You can also do this for the morning, for the evening, however you like. Pretty much just go in and you can touch it up as you go. Okay guys, so this is how it finally looks. It's kind of like a messy curl. As you see, it takes a little while to do, but I feel like it's worth it because it does, it could last you a couple days. You could do something like this if you like, like something to the side, or you could put it up and just kind of play with it. See, look how pretty that looks. So cute, and look at that highlight. Look at that highlight. Okay, so this is how it looks. Once again, this is the flat iron I used. This is the heat protectant. So guys, this is something that honestly, girls night out, out with the hubby, out to work, just want something fun and messy. I think like it's, it's worth it. It lasts you a couple days. Enjoy. And once again, thank you for watching my channel and leave your comments down below and subscribe. Love you guys.